Right guys, I'm super excited today to announce the release of a new add-on that I've been working on for quite some time now. And honestly, it's something I've dreamt about since I first became a 3D artist way back in 2002. So the add-on is called Shader Shaper, and it does something that even the leading AI models are unable to do, which is produce seamlessly tileable bump, normal, and depth maps from a single image. So if we compare the world's best AI depth model on the right, with the shader shaper output on the left, you can clearly see that the right image height information varies quite wildly across each tile, which makes it unsuitable for use in shaders. Additionally, those leading AIs only allow non-commercial use, whereas shader shaper is actually able to supercharge the much smaller AI models that do allow commercial use so that their quality matches or even outperforms those larger and more restrictive models. This basically means that Shader Shaper's output can be used in your commercial work. For example, if you're selling textured models, shader packs, computer games, or 3D renders for your clients. Additionally, the add-on has single-click map generation with automatic shader setup. You can use it on CPU, but it also has GPU acceleration for lightning fast performance. And it also supports Mac, Windows, and Linux. Its output is compatible with all 3D software and game engines, thanks to the options which allow you to specify the resolution, aspect ratio, and also the format of the normals. For example, some game engines require DirectX, some require OpenGL. It's got interactive reshaping controls for distortion removal, smoothing, and flattening, which are powerful enough to make even non-tileable images look good when they're tiled, as we can see here. Uh, it's got separate micro detail controls for all generated maps. So if you want to have all of the micro detail on either the bump and the normal and then have a smooth displacement, then you can certainly do that. And it's often a good idea because that allows you to have a smooth clear coat over the top of the uh, micro details. And thanks to its advanced inbuilt processing functions and high bit depth output, you're going to get really high quality gradient and edge artifact free results. Which means, even on curved surfaces like this one here, the result still looks really good. Which actually brings me on to another great use case scenario for the add-on, is if you want to breathe new life into your favourite texture packs and shader libraries. For example, this brick texture that I'm using here is actually from a shader pack library that I've purchased in the past. And you can see on the left, we've got excellent results with Shader Shaper, but with the original displacement and normal maps, you can see we're getting absolutely awful results. Uh, and even if I push Shader Shaper quite high, so let's go into the displacement, we'll turn this up. You can see I can turn that up without introducing any artifacts at all. We're getting a bit of overlapping, obviously, because I've pushed it so far. But in terms of actual smoothness of the result, it's still looking really good. And I could have got it flatter than that if, when I generated it, I chose it to be flatter uh, in the options of Shader Shaper. If we look, to try and do the same with this one, so choose this material. And we'll pump this up to a similar visual size. The number will be a bit different because this map isn't normalized, it seems. But to a similar visual size, and you can see probably a bit further. Just a complete mess. So, you know, we can't even tell they're bricks anymore. Whereas if you come in here, completely smooth still. So, yeah, that's Shader Shaper. It's designed basically to supercharge your shader workflow and help you achieve more realistic renders much faster. If you'd like to find out more, check out the link in the description below. And thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.